Hello and welcome. The discussions in this section of our course will deal with the gharanas of Hindustani music. Now, we can't hope to address each and every gharana in this short course, nor can we hope to examine any single gharana in great detail. Instead, the attempt here will be to look at a few of the major historically important gharanas as representatives of contrasting musical approaches to rag sangeet so through short audio video clips and demonstrations we're going to try to get a glimpse at how the same larger system of rag tal and bandish changes in the hands of musicians with very different aesthetic leanings performative abilities cultural backgrounds and world views before we get into the music though let's take a quick look at the historical and social forces that led to the formation of the gharanas as we think of them today so it is often assumed that gharanas are an essential aspect of hindustani music but it is important to remember that despite claims to the contrary gharanas as we know them today are a very recent phenomenon Scholars point out that no books dealing with music up until the 19th century make any mention of gharanas at all. Now, although the banis of Dhrupad are a close parallel and a conceptual precursor, the khayal genre seems to have been free of such distinctly identifiable schools of aesthetic or musical thought before the 19th century. Before the 19th century, families of hereditary musicians found employment in the various powerful princely courts that had arisen across northern and western india in the wake of the decline of the mughal power in delhi in this era uh, the term khandan was used to literally mean a family of hereditary musicians where for instance a court musician's son might be appointed court musician after his father's demise but after the 1850s you know with the introduction of the railways the telegraph and the political turmoil of 1857 there was a gradual rise in urbanization and many hereditary musicians moved away from the princely courts to the new urban centers in search of new forms of patronage and opportunity cities like mumbai were now gradually evolving into important centers of transportation of communication and newly rich merchant patrons and the growing middle class audiences so it was in these urban centers that musicians from across northern india found themselves in close proximity to and often in competition with one another the gharanas as we know them today emerged from this situation they were socio musical identities that musicians gave themselves in order to contrast their particular musical culture with that of their peers but gharanas were different from the earlier khandans in one important way these khandani ustads now started accepting large numbers of non hereditary disciples but thanks to the efforts of nationalist reformers like v n bhatkhande and v d paduskar the musical profession had acquired respectability now and the middle classes were able to now imagine a career in music for themselves so gradually non hereditary musicians became disciples of khandani ustads where they learned and consolidated their particular repertoire vocal styles and approaches to improvis- improvisation while often even being careful not to acquire contrasting styles these pedagogical groups these groups of teaching and learning were called gharanas and were named after the ustad's native towns that's how you have the agra gharana gwalior jaipur kirana patiala etc but the term gharana was now a more inclusive term it no longer denoted a family lineage like khandan did it now denoted a pedagogical lineage a lineage of teachers and students So after independence the situation changed even further gharanas were in strength now but as media and communication technology grew and more and more diverse music became easily accessible and available to everyone 
घराना स्टार्टेड टू बी परसीव्ड एज अ सेट ऑफ कॉन्ट्रास्टिंग एस्थेटिक म्यूजिकल अप्रोचेस टू डेवलपिंग अ ख्याल दिस ट्रेंड हैज कंटिन्यूड सो दैट टुडे वाइल देर आर सर्टनली म्यूजिशियंस हु डिलीजेंटली स्टिक टू अ सिंगल घराना एडियम मोस्ट म्यूजिशियंस टेंड टू बोरो बोथ रेपटवा एंड स्टाइलिस्टिक अप्रोच फ्रीली फ्रॉम वेरियस घराना सो in the following sessions we will try to gain an understanding of the gharanas primarily as contrasting aesthetical approaches stylistic musical approaches to the same larger system of khayal we look at the gharanas as different dialects of the same musical language of rag tal and pandish